Good evening from Area 51 Raceway. I'm going to talk about paints and uh, what I do, what I paint. Um, no, I'm not no not trying to promote Rust-Oleum products, but the stuff that works best for me and Rust-Oleum makes some great 2x paint. I'm going to show you is this stuff right here. This black is like it's like really black. <laughs> you could uh, you could ask certain people that have used this. I've used it on one particular car and it looks like you could fall in it and it's very good paint they make the gold which is partially what I'm going to be using on the two-tone of the car that I'm doing right now the car that I have in there there's a Catalina I painted the sides and of it black and this is going to be the hood the back the top of the roof the trunk will be this color gold this is what I painted those wheels with this is the rust only metallic finish and then I got these today I got a metallic chrome which I'm trying to see about trying that out that should be kind of cool and then I picked up some meadow green and then I picked up some uh, hunter green and then the one that I painted the Dodge with is this apple red and they make a good clear too these are the 2X, play, uh, 2X paints. This is basically what it is, ultra cover. It's really good paint. I really have no complaints about it. I have a blue, deep blue, and then I have a flat gray, satin granite gray, and I also have an orange, which I haven't tried on anything yet, and this is a real orange, it's called. These are really good paints. They don't really require any primer they really adhere to the plastic. They don't chip off or anything. You'd have to hit it real hard to chip off. So I mean, if you run the car pretty tough, it'll chip. Uh, the car that Harry fixed, that was this black paint right here that I painted with. And as you can see, it got smushed during uh, shipping and then he was able to fix it. Man, that guy's a miracle worker how he did that. I'm thoroughly impressed with that. And um, he just did a good job straightening it out. You can see the paint was it didn't even chip or flake or nothing. It adheres to plastic really well. I highly recommend it. If you don't want to get into doing airbrushing, and I'm not saying airbrushing is the way to go. Airbrushing is excellent, but dealing with I like dealing with lacquer paints because I think they're just they're just something I prefer. And I love the smell of lacquer in the morning. <laughs> just like the napalm one from a Apocalypse now. I can't remember the line, but I love the smell of lacquer in the morning. But I like the lacquer rattle campaigns, they do well. I do have airbrushes, but I, you know, for water based paint guys that do it, they, they really do a real nice job to do that. Those work really well too. If you use Vallejo paints, it's cheaper. These cans are about under $5 at Walmart. There seems to be a shortage of paint. I haven't been able to find a lot of stuff. It's not cheap on Amazon. I don't recommend Amazon. If you do make several beautiful colors in this paint, I'm out here in my garage here, as you can see. And um, what I was going to get cover is also this a dehydrator. This is a food dehydrator from Amazon. It was under $100. Uh, it's very effective. It's good with hard plastic bottles. If you have a resin body, do not put it in here. You put a resin body in here, it'll distort it. But if you need to reshape your resin body, this is a good tool also to put it in there and re, you know reshape it because you can't do that with resin. Right now the car is painted at about six o'clock. I was done with it, put it in here, and it's been in here since six. And now we got eight and a half, eight hours and 53 minutes, excuse me, left. And I set it at 122 degrees. And you could probably get away with doing just eight hours, but I put it for like nine or 10. And as you can see the finish on this car, pretty decent you could I mean that's just two coats and uh, what I'm gonna do is I didn't care about the top because I'm gonna have to mask this but I'm gonna put my decal and we're gonna shoot a clear over it so you can seal the decals but this is what the car looks I mean that that's a rattle can I mean you can see what a nice shine it has I highly recommend the paints they do real well if you guys want to get into painting something that's the way to go and to get a dehydrator. That's why I'm able to turn these cars over pretty quick. The red Dodge I did in two days, and that's because I had a dehydrator. And it was only one, one color, so I mean, I covered that, painted it, 
and threw it in here and you know ready to go so this is a real good investment if you're going to do more painting it's not real expensive it comes with a bunch of trays you just remove them out and use this one tray this is good for drying decals on you put decals on put it in here for like five ten minutes i would use the lowest setting which is 95 degrees and then although you know the water absorbs it, it gets dehydrated and you have your decals on then you can shoot your clear or you can shoot whatever you use floor shine however you do it, it it works well it's a real i think this has been the best investment so far with painting stuff and i'm no i'm no expert painter there's other guys who know that paint way better than i do but i'm doing what works for me so just covering painting stuff on this video and just giving you advice on how you want to do it how i do it and to make it easier for you i mean rattle cans not hard to do as long as you spray it correctly and this paint lies really nicely it, it lies very well it's not it's not difficult to, to put on and again the clear is excellent too again good paint this is the 2x ultra cover um, and it's from rust-oleum and this pretty much seals on everything and about it'll be good to about to touch it i wouldn't it would takes about like maybe for an, an after an hour you could touch it but i wouldn't really do that i just leave it on there uh, do your coats 10 minutes apart one coat 10 minutes and come in coat again you want to do a third coat 10 minutes coat again if you have good coverage wait another 10 minutes and then put it in a dehydrator and set it for 122 degrees i'd say in a good eight hours would be fine then let the car set for like a couple of hours you should be able to handle it actually after you get out dehydrator but just let it sit for a little bit and um that's it man that's how that's how i paint my car so any questions or anything else, please let me know and uh, thank you very much and have fun racing.